All right. Welcome to another Anthrax Challenge, uh, where I open the mail from different uh, people that I don't know. Uh, you know, some of the curious uh, listeners that we have uh, and uh, supporters of this past weekend send in different boxed, you know, goods, non-goods. Um, and I take a chance every time at uh, getting anthrax, maybe ingesting anthrax. So, you know, it's America, you know, so anything could happen. In honor of some of our previous Americans, I'm wearing a Doug rug, which obviously is a beautiful, you know, homage to Native Americans. It's made out of, I don't know, part of a, ha like different hammocks, I guess. And, uh, and it's definitely, I feel like a, a pretty quality piece. You know, if you want to look like you're probably going to take a nap soon, then a Doug rug is something that you should have on. And this was something that was sent to me last time. So let's get into some of the potential anthrax. Now, this long hitter right here, a lot of you guys think this might be that uh, one of those super na supernatural penises that's out there that you can get. You know, they have a lot of those... Uh, a lot of ladies get super dongs and stuff like that off the internet. You know, quality dongs, long dongs, you know. Uh, them big dark hitters. They'll order those off the internet. This isn't that. This is something else. I hope anyway. Actually, what if it is? I have no idea. But somebody sent this in to us, and we're very grateful to have this. And this was sent in to us from Justin Johnson from San Diego, California. And it says fragile. So it could actually be a penis. And it um and this we're using this blade. One of the first things that ever got sent into us was uh, a Reeves blade. They have beautiful blades and beautiful handles. And I uh, will put a link in the bio as to where you can get a Reeves blade. So let me cut into this little cabbage patch, and we get that new cut cam too. So you can go to that cut cam and see me cutting into something. Lots of people were worried about the way you were cutting. Really? They want you to cut away from your body, just. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Thank you very much. And that's producer Nick with some uh, safety choices right there. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny? Right before you cut yourself, you always get a feeling like you're about to cut yourself. You notice that? Isn't that interesting? I'll just keep getting that feeling a little bit. Oh, there we go. Now, some of the different cuts you have to use are different quality type of knife slides and different type of... Savage little baby glides. You got to get that thing in there, dude. I mean, this is like, it's trying to like, like trying to fuck concrete, man. That's what this thing is. Very, very temperamental tape that I'm trying to get into. And tape was, when I was young, tape was a lot easier to cut. They got a lot of hard tape out here these days from who knows where, Japan, something. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Smell a little bit of turmeric. All right, let's see what's in this thing. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. And this is from Archive Print Company. Wow, this actually looks really nice now. And uh, this this has been sitting literally. This has been sitting through two anthrax challenges. I just it it was blending in with the wall, and we just we forgot about it. Theo, I want to gift you with these wraps in exchange for the laughter and smiles you provide. I run a small print business in which I restore and reproduce vintage maps. Oh, that's what he said, maps. Oh, that's interesting. And designs. I figured I'd set you up with maps of your old and new stomping grounds. Your drive to be your better self has been very inspirational to me and helped me to be focused and driven. Thank you for all you do. Gang, gang, Justin Johnson. Oh, wow. Dude, this is like the coolest thing ever, man. Wow, I'm opening a map. I'm dressed like a Native American. I mean, this is, what year is it? I feel like this is like an outtake from Dances with Wolves. This is awesome. Dude, this is like a really nice thing. This is like the nice thing you get at Christmas. Like, you know, your parents always give you the junk up front, you know, of batteries. My mom would have us open like all kind of shit that what batteries, 
open a hat. She'd get stuff that was just off the coat rack and have us open it. Open just drawings of each other. Wow, man, this is really, really cool. So this is a map of Los Angeles, right? Wow. Wow, this is a beautiful map. Thanks, man. I mean, going to be v I'm still going to use probably ways, but highly appreciated, man. No, this is a beautiful beautiful map. You must be a cartographer. A cartographer is somebody that works with maps. Wow, man. That's so nice. You can see everything. Pacoima, Arleta, Panorama City, San Fernando Valley, bro. Valenzuela was our dad's name, Richie. Verdugo, La Canada, Montrose, Altadena. You can see everything. Man, this is really, really nice, Justin. Thank you very, very much. That is the new, I guess that's the new where I live now. Wow. And this is where I'm from, bro, Louisiana. This is so cool. Louisiana, 1878. The Archive Print Company down in San Diego. Man, these are really nice, dude. I don't even know if I'm going to keep these in the studio. I may take these home, brother. That's really, 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 really pretty. Wow. Ascension, Tangipahoa, St. Tammany, Livingston Parish, West Baton Rouge, St. Landry, Catahoula right there, Wynn Parish, very rural out there, Sabine, Natchitoches. That's beautiful, brother. Man, this is really, really nice. I'm going to really, really say that... Uh, that that is awesome, dude. Thank you very much, Justin Johnson. And that's Archive Print Company in San Diego. And you guys can't see it, but like there's different colors on the, you know, where uh, different like gradients of land are. Um, this is really, really nice. Taking a map from a period of time and making it uh, fresh and new and quality. Uh, thank you very much, Justin. No anthrax. On to the next. Okay, we got our second opportunity for anthrax. And this is from Evan Bartels. Wait, wasn't this the guy whose music we did? Oh, wow, this is really, really cool. If you remember uh, The Devil God and Me, I think it was called his song. Um, and we put his music out there, Evan Bartels. Let's see what he sent. Hi, Theo. I hope all is well. I'm Evan's brother, and I've been playing music with him for over 11 years now. Hearing what you had to say about the devil, God, and me, and Evan really uplifted my spirit. Knowing that there are people out there that care in a meaningful way is really, really reassuring. And I feel confident in our pursuit as a band. Thank you for sharing Evan's song, Your True Blue. Also, thank you for podcasting. I'm not able to be 100% full-time music just yet, and this past weekend is a positive influence when I'm experiencing dark days at the office. Just wanted to know you have a fan. Enjoy the swag. Uh, Nick gave me your sizes, but if anything weren't to fit, please let me know. Wow, this is really, really cool. And that's uh, from Evan and Logan Bartles. And they sent... Um... Oh, and then Evan, I guess, also sent a letter. Hey, Theo, just wanted to send you a personal thank you for your support of my record. I had a shit ton of people hit me up and help me for and, and hear me for the first time because of you playing my song. As a songwriter, I think my biggest motivation is to move other people by being honest and vulnerable, but staying accessible so we all experience it together. Hearing what you said gave me some validation I really needed, man. I love what you do and will always be a fan and friend. You're one of the best. Gang, gang. Oh, that's cool. And he drew a picture of me. And I can maybe put it on that cam right there. There's a campfire. And there's a horse and buggy. I'm on the horse. And there's some crickets fucking in the distance. And that's truly beautiful, dude. And that's how Mother Nature works, too. And we're doing our stuff. Mother Nature's in the background, usually making animals have sex. 
wow, this is so cool. I got some swag. <clears throat> oh, nice. I got some Evan Bartles um, uh, cup holders. We can keep those here in the studio. That's very nice. Uh, we also still have some from <clears throat> Mundo, Mundo. I don't know. We'll take that part out about the Mundo so they don't get upset. Uh, what else? We got... Oh, nice. Some Evan Bartles, the devil, God, and me. That's cool, bro. Some really neat singles. And we'll play the single again. Um... Oh, we are? You can hear it? Oh, that's awesome. That's producer Nick chiming in there, getting it done. That's groovy. Um, that Columbia Huila Dark Roast. Oh, that's just some dirty coffee he sent me. Good, I need some uppers, bro, because I can't do cocaine anymore. So I will take that. And this is Evan Bartle's... Um, we got a nice shirt in here. <clears throat> oh, wow. Run like the devil. Pretty cool. Evan Bartles and the Stony Lonesomes. Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Evan and Logan, uh, for the nice stuff. You know what? We'll include... Um, we're going to start doing a thing for the this past weekend when people, and people can still call in and let us know about their weekend, if it was the best or worst weekend, and we're going to pick one each month and put it on the show, uh, and we'll include some of, um, some of these albums when we send those out, those gift boxes out to people. Uh, the Devil God in Me is Evan Bartle's album, and thank you for the gift, uh, and um, I hope you guys uh, be good to each other as brothers, man. You know, it's rare to have a brother in the world, and... Uh, and it's a pretty cool gift. I called my brother this morning just to hear his voice. So sometimes, you know, there's something uh, about having a brother that really keeps you going. Okay, now somebody. Now, is this anthrax? If it is, if this is anthrax, it's definitely going to be an amount that kills me. I will say this. This came from Grandma and Aunt Vic. Victoria Huber. Kankakee, Illinois. Oh, rural Illinois. I love that. Victoria Huber. Who do I, I know a Huber? Let me see. It says a couple things on it. My God. And this, no joke, this costs $72 to ship. So, dude, this could be, I hope this isn't Molly Tibbetts. Very bad joke. And that was, should not have come out of my mouth. That is too soon. And that's just a joke. Jesus. I forgot to add note. One, big fan. Three. No, sorry. It says, one, I forgot to add note. Two, big fan. Three, you just need some care. Four, Nick's big soap costs $4 more and is more fancy. Huh. So I guess Nick is using big soap now. What are you washing with, Nick? I'm usually a Old Spice Swagger kind of guy. <laughs> oh, you definitely seem like it. Nick is a victim of a lot of advertising. I mean, this guy is that Axe body spray bad boy. So, this is pretty cool. Oh, my God, bro. This smells way so uh, Thank you very much, Victoria Huber. Let's get that Reeves blade out and cut away from my body. And Vicky actually sent us an email, and she said, before she sent this, and she said, Dear Theo, Graham and I think your mustache is looking a bit rough. We want to help. Oh, wow. So this is when I still had that mustache pending. And I, may, I usually grow another mustache around Christmas so I can really creep out some locals. You know? Because if you're going to show up to a family Christmas event, you might as well show up with a shady mustache, too. Usually everybody already thinks you're a creep. Might as well look the part. Dude, this thing is heavy.
Wow, this is heavy, bro. This says Tom Ford on it. Oh, wow, what is this? This says Tom Ford on it. Tom Ford is fancy, isn't it? Tom Ford. Tom Ford, not Ford dealership. Ford. No, it's not the same Ford, is it? No, Ford. <clears throat> yeah, that's Henry Ford. This is that Tom Ford, boy. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Well, I sound like a little senior citizen there. Uh, Tom Ford, that Ood Wood. They got that wood, that deodorant stick, Ood Wood by Tom Ford. Wow. And they got that Tom Ford for men. Wow. <clears throat> this is very nice, bro. This is very nice from Victoria Huber. That's that Tom Ford. All right, we got some Tom Ford smell good right there. Look at this, man. I might have to put Nick in some of this. This is that Ood Wood. This Ood Wood by Tom Ford. O-U-D-W-O-O-D. -O -O that Ood Wood all over body spray. So if your body is really, you know, shower gel. Or Jeel, Shower Jeel, that Ood Wood. And then this more, Deodorant Stick. Wow. Dude, this is really, really nice, man. I've seen this stuff at the mall. This is damn Nordstrom. You know, this ain't no Nordstrom rack. This is regular Nordstrom. Wow, thank you, that Tom Ford hitter. That's the type of soap they lock up. Is it really? Yeah, behind the <clears throat> glass. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a great point. That's the type of... That's the type of soap they lock up, boy. That's that quality body sauce, baby. Damn. Bro, you got to see this. This is Kiel's. This is that Kiel's, bro. This is made out of duck fat. Dude, praise the Lord. What? Dude, this is like a $270 bottle of Kiel's, man. Creme de la Corpse, bro. This has dead bodies in it. Oh, my sweet heavens. I'm wearing the rest of the dead, baby. You know I'm going to be shining when I got some dead daddy body fat on me. And this is that creme de corpse. Wow. This is Kiel since 1851. They've been ripping people off for expensive hand cream. Unbelievable, that body fuel, boy. In case you want to fucking burn your skin up. But you want it to burn fast. A lot of people set themselves on fire, and they and it's a slow burn. That's what you don't realize. People think, oh, I'm going to hold a match to my chest and just end it all. No, you're an idiot. But if you got that Kiel's body fuel, then hell yeah, speed it up, daddy. One match. Instead of burning in 27, 30 minutes, you could probably burn in about eight or nine minutes. Wow, this is really, really nice, Miss Huber. Thank you, Miss Huber. And there's more. This is, I mean, this is. You're making me up the ante. We're going to have to start making some nice gift bags for some of these single moms. And this Tom Ford again. Nick. Ooh. Damn, Nick's getting in on this, huh? Wow. Or maybe they just spelled Theo wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's awesome. I will, I will share this with Nick. You can hear him. Um, Nick, this one's for you. Watch Nick get the anthrax. <laughs> Watch Nick get the anthrax. Oh, this is for you too, Nick. Sick. You got Never the... been this clean. And I got that other hitter right here. Wow. And this is that Kiel's as well. Look at that Kiel's body, that ultimate man body scrub soap. My God. And I'm guessing Victoria just wants to just imagine me running this hard bar up and down my, my spine and my backside because my backside gets dirty. Because I have sweaty cheeks. I come from a long line of a lot of Nicaraguans that have sweaty cheeks. And this is that butter stick lip treatment from Kiel's. Wow, this is so nice. Look at this. Little fanny pack or something you can tie around in front of your body. 
Oh, man. Uh, this is a sugar lemon bath and shower gel. My God, I'm going to smell so good. Nourishing, nourishing, nourishing shampoo and conditioner. Two in one formula. Wow. Calangela, deep cleansing foam and face wash. God, how do you know my face is dirty? How did you know my face is dirty? Kiel's Ultra Fascial Cream. Oh, this is beautiful. Ultra Fascial, boy. Put this wherever you want, huh? Dude, I might bleach my bong bong with this dealio, huh? This is that patented quality cream. Wow. From Greenland, it says. From Greenland. This is awesome, man. A little night sack in case I meet a lady who wants to sleep over. And she wants to shine up a little bit. She can use a little bit. She ain't using a lot. I don't even know what to say, man. That's so nice. Nick, what do you think about yours? Uh, I'm excited. Like I said, I've never been this clean, so it's about time. Dang. And, Vicky and, grandma. and grandma, yeah. Dang, grandma. Thanks, I appreciate it. My grandmother used to always send me, she would send me these bag of uh, a Western shirt and a bag of blue mints. Um, they weren't peppermint or spearmint, they were blue. And it was just, the shirt was always a children's shirt and it had snaps on it. Even when I'd already grown up, she sent me like a six-year-old shirt that had Western kind of snaps and a um, bag of mints. Uh but these are it's a really, really nice gift. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow. I mean, I really don't deserve that. Nick's gift's already making him sick. That anthrax, boy. I'm getting choked up. Are you, dude? The nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Wow, bro. Well, if, you get, if your throat starts shutting down, dude, then you lose. <laughs> the anthrax challenge goes on. I think the Hubers just took out Nick. It's just me now. Well, we may have lost Nick, but I'm still here. I took off that Doug rug uh, just to have a change of pace, you know. And I wanted to put a little bit of that special lotion on my skin. And thank you, Miss Huber uh, and Grandma, for the lotion. You know, especially for that ultra fascial lotion. I mean, I can't wait to get home and just grease myself up. You know, the, one of the beautiful things is I'm not even going to be able to touch myself anymore. I'm going to be so slippery. And so I'm looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Our next gift. Okay, now our next gift says evidence, and I started cutting in, but I stopped. It says evidence to be opened by authorized personnel only. And this is the 5 Candle Company. The 5 Candle Company. Theo, hope you enjoy the candles. Can't wait for your show in this in this in. DC this November, Zach Rexine. Thank you, Zach. F five O. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, this one broke. It broke in the. It's glass and it broke and it's it's okay. I'm sorry that it broke, Zach. Um, I know we handled it okay. It might have just been, you know, some bad luck. This one is uh, Donut, and it's for the 5-0. It's Police Department Candle Company, and this one's Donut Smelling, which would have been really, really cool to have. Um, hold on. Unless I'm just not realizing you're trying to harm me, Zach. I didn't even think about that. Broken glass, pretending you're the police. Suave move if you are trying to kill me. Two challenges in the row, we got that broken glass. That's true, huh? That is true. We're two for two on that broken glass hitter. Now, here's one. That basic bitch sent a candle. <laughs> so. <laughs> and it smells like a basic boy. Actually, this smells so good, bro. God, dude, when I smell this, it makes my asshole feel warm. It really does. I'm not joking. Let me make sure. Yeah. Wow, this is basic bitch. That's that, it's pumpkin. I think it's pumpkin. This is a 5-0 candle company uh, out of Maryland. 
Thank you, Zach. That's nice. We'll keep that in studio. Uh, we've got some nice candles. Um, and here's one more. Oh. <laughs> that Daryl Strawberry, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. <laughs> you can kind of see him. I'm going to put it on that camera. Maybe you'll be able to see that view of him. Uh, but... Damn, dude, he's so funny looking as a strawberry. People say that candle will help you get sober. Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, yeah, everybody knows I've had one run in with Daryl Strawberry. And, uh, and it was so it was so uh, important I had to quit doing cocaine. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and that is from the 5 Candle Company in Columbia, Maryland. And we'll put a link to their stuff as well below. So cool. Wow. Evidence. I like the way they ship that evidence. And let's keep it cruising. No anthrax yet. Even though I haven't heard Nick in a while. I hope he's... Well, okay, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Still kicking. Really? Look, your face looks a little wet. That, that had a, no explanation for, but... Okay, well, look, dude. That could be a serious condition. Unless you're drinking a wide mouth beer, dude. When I was growing up, they had this kid, man. He had the smallest mouth, and he accidentally one time got a case of wide mouth beers, and he couldn't get his mouth around the whole thing, so he literally just poured beer all over his face the whole night. That happens to me. I'm just a sloppy drunk. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I'm going to cut away from my body like these creeps out there suggest. Okay. This gift here is from AP Books and More in Hebron, Kentucky. And I'll be coming to Lexington, Kentucky in a few weeks, December 7th and 8th. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful satchel. Beautiful sack right here. Dear Theo, what a random thing to hear someone speak on. But when I heard you wax poetic about this beautiful man, about your love for the books, the books too. I knew you were my soul sister. Lilas, Sarah Anderson, myrubypearl at gmail.com. Who could it be now? Who could it be now? If it's Michael Landon, dude. Dr. Seuss. <gasps> the Value of a Positive Attitude by Michael Landon. Praise the Lord, brother. And look at me as a horse and a carrot. The story of Michael Landon. Wow, man. And you know what? I'm going to do a special thing where I read this one day. The value of a positive attitude. The story of Michael Landon. And look at him. My God. Beautiful guy right there. Man, this is awesome. It's like his life story, but for like a children's book. This is so cool. Thank you so much. This is really, really a nice gift. This is really a nice gift, my Ruby Pearl. Sarah Anderson, thank you for the value of a positive attitude, the story of Michael Landon. There couldn't be any thrax, and this Michael himself wouldn't allow it. So even if Sarah put it in, I'm sure Michael would kick it out. And that horse is eating a carrot. Nobody's, they're not doing that around anthrax. Very nice. Yeah, maybe one, one, maybe one day we'll read that by a fireplace, that Michael Landon book. We would get a fireplace here, but they get, uh, they get pissed if we even light one of these basic bitch candles up. So, literally, we could have a dead body in here. They do not care. Blood dripping from our studio down into a lower studio. Uh, we don't care. Do you have a candle lit? Put it out. All they care about, lit candles. I don't think this place is insured. That's why. <laughs> That's when you know if a place is insured or not, if they're that angry about the lit candles, you know? All right, we have one more anthrax challenge. Actually, we have a couple more. Uh, this one is from Papaiku, Hawaii. Hawaii. Papaiku. Papaiku. Mm. Oh, Hawaii Hydration Mist Lavender. 
And that's if you want to. Oh, yeah. And that'll make your weenie perk. That'll make your weenie act like you just heard somebody whistle. And we got some other beautiful things. These are from Vetiver Farms. Vetiver Farms. Vetiver Farms. Vetiver Farms. Green Technology Solutions. So all these uh, products are organic and come from green, as green as you can get. A sustainable and economical plan for long-term infrastructure. Vetiver grass regenerates from fire and is rated the lowest on the invasive species scale. That's one thing that's beautiful about Hawaii, man. They got the best. They got the best pieces of Mother Nature ever. And we'll put a link to their stuff. Hawaii lemongrass, grown and made in Hawaii. Thank you very much, Vetiver Farms. Ooh, that little Coke holder, but that's body and hair oil. Dude, I got so much hair, this thing wouldn't even cover a damn sideburn. Dude, I couldn't even give a I couldn't even give a bath to one of these bad burns over here. This is a thing barely hold probably half a gram. But thank you. And what else? We got some soap in here. Skin and skin nourish your skin cells. What is this? Skin and hair tonic. Dang, boy, what? Ooh, ooh. This is that Wild West hitter, son. All these products look like they're trying to get you to fall off the wagon. Oh, definitely. It's tonic. Yeah, the flask, <laughs> the vial. These are definitely. Uh, I'm glad you guys have obviously gotten your act together out there. Vitiver Cedar Magnesium, made in Hawaii, premium ingredients. Coconut oil, magnesium oil, vetiver oil, wood, and aloe vera. That's that vetiver, skin and hair tonic. That's that gram holder. Bang, bang. Thank you very much. And this is as natural as it can get, it seems like. You guys are too natural. Some of this could be somebody just spit into something. I mean, this is natural. This seemed like the Lord just took a leak right into one of y'all's. And look at this, a dang hit of grass. Look at that little baby hay bale. I mean, you take two, dude, you put a little bit of a dip of this in your lip, bro, you'll probably have an erection for a month, boy. Growing in Hawaii, limited release. Dude, trust me, I have a little bit of this, I'm going to have a lot of release, brother. Looks like a big jaunt. It does look like one of them Marian jaunts, boy. <laughs> All aboard! One of the oldest plants on earth, vetiver roots were used in the ancient world to bring grounding, healing, and centering. Tops of plants are propagated in sustainable engineering for land prevention. Wow. That vetiver, oh, it smells good too. Wow. Very, very natural. My mother would love this stuff. She liked nature. To big hitter chicken dinner from the vetiver homies. Aloha, Theo. Aloha can mean anything you want. Hello, goodbye, I'm hungry. It's usually it's a word they use in Hawaii. Also, it's kind of like also if you're an alcoholic, you don't want to remember a lot of words. Aloha works. Thanks for keeping it real, brother. You and Justin, the big pygmy wren, got that big hitter heart. Like a Care Bear or Teddy Ruxpin, he'd be a good guest. We'll consider that Justin Wren. We mostly grow this grass, vetiver to save soil, clean water, and remediate waste. Turns out when you distill the roots, it's like sex panther deodorant oil. It's one of two smells so complex they can't make a fake fragrance of it. Wow. I would agree to that. It smells like history a little bit. It smells good and it smells like like it's, it smells like history. The small brown bottle is a strong, pure shit. Come to a Hawaii show someday with your boyfriend, Rogan. One day at a time. Our Instagram is Vetiver Farms Hawaii, if you want to plug. Otherwise, just go smell sexy, like your hair. Mahalo. All right, we got one more today, maybe two. Uh, Tassos a Kechagios. This is from Greece. Wow, this is all the way from Greece, Theo Von Podcasting. Dude, thank you so much. I never got mail from Greece before. From Tassos.
Learn Greek without a teacher. Wow, thank you, Tassos. And here's a book that's in freaking Greek, dude. And this is his book. This is his book, maybe? I don't know. Let me read the letter instead of jumping to conclusions. All right. Hey, Theo, what's up? This is Tassos, a friend of yours from Greece. Yeah, sure, I found out about you through the Fear Factor guy, but now our relationship has a life of its own. You have mentioned before that you would like to learn a foreign language at some point. So why don't you go Greek, pal? Question mark. I'm sending you two books. One is for learning Greek, and the other is a little Greek book I wrote some years ago about the history and the, dia and the geography of the glorious mountains of central Peloponnese, where I live. So when your Greek is sufficient, please read my book and tell me what you think, okay? All right, if you ever come to Greece, don't be a stranger, all right? May the bright arts be with you always, my friend. Tassos, intensewarrior at hotmail.com. Thank you, Tassos. It's very nice. And that's Tassos' book right there. And there it is right there, Learn Greek Without a Teacher, but with a book from a friend. Thank you, Tassos. All right, we got two more hitters here. Uh, first, we got this little baby cat right here. This says, Enjoy Your Mud, M-U-D. And this is a little hitter. Fuck your coffee, this thing says. No way, bro. I'd rather just drink it, dude. I'm sure you can probably get caffeine a lot faster. Fuck your coffee. Chai believe I can fly. Little mud, lot of mud. Enjoy your mud. Masala chai, cacao, rishi, shaga, cordyceps, lion's mane, turmeric, sea salt, cinnamon. You speaking Greek already? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what. That's great. <laughs> this is a company. Fuck your coffee. Drink mud. Damn, dude. But look. Look, <laughs> I was probably drinking mud when I was a kid. I think I've just come a long way, so I'm trying not to do that anymore. Enjoy your mud. So this is it. It must be a very fancy type of coffee or cafe. Thank you for sending it in. Uh, I will check it out. All right, we got one more hard hitter right here. Man, I can't wait to get home and put on some of that Kiel's lotion, dude, that baby batter, whatever that thing is, that jug of... One of them looked like it was just warm frosting somebody sent. <laughs> And this is from Bobby Sullivan, 202 Tree, Tree Creek. I don't want to give his address out. From Bobby Sullivan. Ooh, this looks Thraxy. <laughs> no doubt, Ski Bro. This look, is this fireworks? This looks dang anthraxious, bro. Look at that. You know if anthrax is coming. What is this, a ukulele, bro? I, I was thinking ukulele for sure. It's going to be a ukulele, bro. I'm about to kill myself. <laughs> See what it is. Theo, I hope this el electric worm rod finds you well. Oh, let me tell you this. Before I even read any further, that's the only way an electric worm rod would ever find me as well. If something like this shows up, I will never not be well when it arrives. Sometime during a podcast last summer, you mentioned these electric bad boys as, as an exhilarating way for a young man to have some fun in Louisiana. As a young boy, I once caught a garter snake inside of a shoebox and left it under my deck. When I checked on it the following day, there were probably 30 babies squirming around in the box with a pissed off mama. I chucked the box into the creek. Dang. That is very Khabib of you. This was the closest I have come to harvesting annelids via electric... This was the closest I've come to harvesting annelids via electricity and dirt. Being the inquisitive type, I had to investigate these dark arts. Upon discovering these were such a thing, I had one made for you, the Rat King. 2018 has been filled with ups and more downs. But this past week and the additional content you've put out has helped me tremendously to keep positive. I always have something to look forward to on Monday and Thursday mornings. Makes it easier to get up, get moving, and keep going. Wow. Thanks, Robert. That's nice of you to say. You know, it's so funny. I don't... Like sometimes I for um yeah it's so funny the reason why I would always do it in the beginning and get it going and be like it has to be up is because people are waiting for it but then I, at that point I kind of stopped thinking you know I don't think of them actually like receiving it a lot of times and this is making me think about oh of people receiving it 
It has been awesome to watch you and your podcast grow over these past two years, and I think I can speak for many of the listeners. We're all very proud of you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing all the amazing things to come from you in the future. Thank you for everything. Hope you catch some crawlers with this nice tricity piece. Gang, gang. Oh, don't read aloud on air. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, but... Nothing salacious in that. Yeah, I thought it was actually one of the nicest. I, I thought it was... I've got a lot of nice letters. I thought that it was... Uh, it's very earnest. Um... Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Let's see this hitter, dude. Now everybody's excited to see this worm rod. Especially a lot of those fellas out there, I'm sure, if, think it's going to be some type of wiener or something. Oh, yeah, this is that basic, basic hitter, boy. Look at that piece right there, dog. Playing with that hitter, boy. Look at that, dude. You want to meet a lady? Put a worm rod in the ground, bro. And look at that if you want to practice doing shish kebabs, bro. You know how these work, Nick? No. Really? I have no idea. It, 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 you like electrocute whatever's in the water? Or? So you hook uh, electricity into here. And then you put this in the ground and leave it, and the worms will come up, and you get them and go fish. Mm. People used to wait for lightning. Well, you could wait forever like an idiot. <laughs> Some dude's like, hey, guess what? Some dude pulls up in a nice truck. Next thing you know, he's got all the worms. Well, he's got one of these. All the ladies go with him. Ben Franklin would be proud. He would be. Uh, push rods completely into the ground before you plug them in. Use an extension cord and plug them in. In about two minutes, you'll start seeing worms. When no more worms are coming up, it's time to move. Make sure you unplug it first, then move it. Somebody learned that part the hard <laughs> way. It's not a toy for kids. There's 120 volts on the rods. So it's a toy for some kids. It's not a toy for weak kids. Ground must be moist for shocker to work. I've heard that before. If ground is dry, use garden hose. And wet it down good and let it soak in. Okay, this is a... I'm actually going to have to go spend, spend some time by myself. But I want to thank you, Robert Sullivan. This is one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. Thank you very much, Robert. You're a good man, and you're a thoughtful man. And yeah, I know that you're an entrepreneur and a businessman, and you're going to create a lot of good businesses over the years. Uh, I hope to keep in touch. Thank you. Well, guys, no anthrax this time. You know, what can I say? Try harder. Uh, actually, don't try harder. Um... We, you know, we did get some more broken glass, so that's that can be tough to deal with. There was a couple of things that seemed scented. I know Nick's eyes are swollen a little. Feeling a little woozy. Yeah, you're not really looking that great, honestly. <laughs> um, so we might want to get him checked out. So maybe we'll start having a pile that Nick opens and a pile that I open just for safety. You know, he'll open the really unquestionable, the really questionable ones. Uh, but thank you to everybody that sent nice gifts in. We're excited, uh, and I'll just let you guys know that we're going to be redoing one of the walls in here to have it a little bit more, um, you know, nice looking or a new set. And we'll be able to, uh, you know, put some things out occasionally from time to time. You know, we got some really nice things this time. We got some real natural stuff from the Vitiver crew out there in Hawaii. Uh, we got a lot of these candles from, uh, the Basic Bitch Candle Company. You know, we got Evan Bartels, who we played his music, and he sent them in, or from the 5 O Candle Company. Um, what else? We got Grandma and uh, Miss Huber sent us all that Kale's Baby Lotion. We got the Greek stuff, you know, them Greek goodies. Uh, I get to learn Greek now. We got that mud, that chai. Man, I got that worm rod. And as always, I got my Reeves Blade. Reeves Blades. For when you don't know if you might cut yourself. But at least if you do cut yourself, cut yourself with a nice blade. We'll see you guys next time on another Anthra Anthrax Challenge. Um, the address will be below. Thank you for all uh, of your support of this past weekend. Gang, gang. Now I'm just floating on the breeze And I feel I'm falling like these leaves I must be cornerstone Oh,
Shine. 